The battlefields of Ukraine have become a graveyard for tanks. Small, cheap drones, some costing just a few thousand dollars, have been shockingly good at killing tens of tons of armored steel. The internet is flooded with footage of kamikaze drones hitting their targets and multi-million dollar tanks burning on the plains of Eastern Europe. This brutal new reality has forced military analysts to ask a chilling question. Is the era of the tank over? Did a piece of consumer electronics just make one of the most powerful symbols of land warfare obsolete? Well, one nation believes it has the answer. And that answer was forged by watching this exact conflict unfold. China doesn't think the tank is dead. It thinks it just needed to get a whole lot smarter. Say hello to the Type 99A, the crown jewel of the People's Liberation Army's armored forces and China's answer to the threats of a 21st century battlefield. First rolling out in 2011, the Type 99A has been the PLA's top-tier main battle tank for years. But after watching the carnage in Ukraine, Beijing's engineers went into overdrive, transforming this already formidable machine into a hardened fortress, specifically designed to hunt and kill the drones that now rule modern warfare. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on the incredible layers of defense that make the Type 99A a true drone-killing beast. We'll peel back the armor, decode the electronics, and reveal the systems that China is betting on to keep the tank king of the battlefield for decades to come. The first thing you notice looking at an upgraded Type 99A is a feature the internet has lovingly nicknamed, the Cope Cage. Recent footage from PLA winter exercises shows these tanks fitted with metal lattice frames, especially over the turret. This isn't just a random slab of metal, it's a direct, no-nonsense response to top-down drone attacks. The idea is brilliantly simple. The cage is there to trigger an incoming projectile, like a grenade dropped from a drone or a small kamikaze UAV, before it hits the tank's main armor. A tank's turret roof is traditionally one of its weakest spots, and a direct hit there can be catastrophic, especially if it cooks off the ammunition. By detonating the warhead on the cage, the explosive force is dispersed in the air, drastically reducing its power before it reaches the armor below. The slanted design on the Type 99A's cages also helps deflect drones and munitions away from the most vital areas. Now, this cage won't stop a dedicated anti-tank missile, but it's a cheap and brutally effective way to neutralize the most common drone threats we've seen in Ukraine, forming the first, most visible layer of the Type 99A's new defensive mindset. Underneath that cage is where you find the real muscle, a sophisticated, multi-layered armor system. This isn't just thick steel. The Type 99A uses a mix of modular composite armor and what's believed to be a third-generation type of explosive reactive armor, or ERA. Let's break that down. The base is a welded steel turret, but bolted onto it are blocks of composite armor. These are a secret sauce of materials like ceramics and special alloys, made to shatter and absorb the energy of an incoming round. On top of that is the explosive reactive armor. Many analysts believe the Type 99A uses an advanced era, with some comparing it to Russia's Relict system, which is critical for defeating one of the deadliest tank killers, the Tandem Charge Warhead. Think of it as a one-two punch. The first small charge tries to clear away the era, so the second, main charge can hit the real armor. But this advanced era is designed to counter both, using explosive-filled plates to disrupt the entire attack sequence. Even the storage baskets on the turret are shielded by these era blocks, turning almost every inch of the exterior into a defensive layer. So, how tough is it? While the exact numbers are a state secret, Chinese tank commanders have claimed its frontal protection is equivalent to over 1,000 mm of steel armor, putting it in the same weight class as the best Western tanks. This dense, layered defense ensures that even if a threat gets past the outer cage, the tank and its three-person crew have a fighting chance to survive a direct hit. Armor is great, but the best way to survive an attack is to not get hit in the first place. This is where the Type 99A's biggest upgrade comes in. Its Active Protection System, or APS. China has been hard at work on its own APS tech, and the latest Type 99As have been spotted with the Advanced GL6 Hard Kill System. An APS basically creates a protective bubble around the tank. 
The GL6 uses small radar panels placed around the tank for 360-degree coverage, constantly scanning for incoming threats. When it detects a projectile, whether it's an anti-tank missile, an RPG, or a kamikaze drone, the system's computer instantly calculates its speed and flight path. Then comes the hard kill part. The GL-6 has two rotating, turreted launchers, each loaded with interceptors. Once a threat is locked, the launchers whip around to face it and fire a small explosive charge to destroy the incoming round in midair, just milliseconds before impact. Chinese state media has shown the GL-6 successfully intercepting projectiles like RPGs in tests, demonstrating its potential against the exact kinds of threats that have been so devastating in recent conflicts. What makes the GL-6 a true game-changer is that its launchers can rotate and elevate at high angles, specifically designed to counter those deadly top-down attacks from drones. This automated, high-speed defensive shield is probably the most important piece of China's strategy to make its tanks drone-proof. The Type 99A's defenses don't just stop at blowing things up. It also uses a suite of soft kill systems designed to blind and confuse an enemy before they can even get a shot off. The most unique of these is the JD-3 laser self-defense weapon. That boxy device on the turret roof isn't for storage, it's a laser warning receiver that instantly knows when it's being painted by an enemy's laser. Once it detects a hostile laser, the system can automatically fight back. First, it shoots out a low-powered beam to pinpoint the enemy's location. Then, it can unleash a high-intensity blast powerful enough to fry enemy optical sensors or even temporarily blind the gunner on the other end. This can disable laser-guided missiles and expose hidden anti-tank teams. On top of that, the Type 99A has 12 smoke grenade launchers. But this isn't your average smoke screen. They can deploy a thick cloud that blocks both visual light and thermal imaging, making the tank effectively invisible to most modern sensors. The tank can even create its own thermal screen by injecting diesel fuel into its hot engine exhaust. Finally, you have to be able to see the enemy to fight them. The tank's fire control system is built around a new generation thermal imager and a ballistic computer, allowing it to accurately hit targets. While its main 125mm smoothbore cannon is lethal at typical combat ranges, it can also fire gun-launched anti-tank guided missiles to take out threats up to 5 kilometers away. This high-level awareness is key to spotting small, fast drones long before they become a problem. So, what's the big picture here? The massive upgrades to the Type 99A show that China is not just watching, but learning from modern conflicts and investing big in solutions. By layering its defenses, the cage, the composite and reactive armor, the soft-kill jammers, and the hard-kill APS, the PLA is determined to build a tank that can dominate a battlefield swarming with drones and smart weapons. And the evolution isn't stopping. China is already testing a hybrid diesel electric engine for its next generation tanks. An engine like that would not only make the tank quieter and harder to detect, but it would also provide the huge amount of electrical power needed for future upgrades, like more powerful jammers or maybe even real deal laser weapons. The transformation of the Type 99A is more than just a hardware upgrade, it's a sign that the rules of ground combat have changed for good. Armor and firepower aren't enough anymore. Survival now depends on a smart fusion of brute force and high-tech defense. From a simple metal cage to a self-aware, drone-shooting defensive system, the Type 99A is a masterclass in modern military adaptation. China has placed a huge bet that with the right technology, it can solve the drone problem and keep the tank as the ultimate weapon of land warfare. The result is one of the most heavily defended tanks on Earth, a rolling fortress built to win against 21st century threats. But the question is, are these upgrades enough to guarantee the tank's dominance, or will new weapons and tactics find a way to break through? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this look at modern military tech, be sure to like and subscribe for more.